about a little music to count me money to? Yo, nigga, I feel fucking livid, bro. It's Young Seiko, aka Dr. Seiko Suave, the only nigga you know with a PhD in hoology and asthmatology, bro. I got some good news for y'all. Remember how I told y'all Dr. Seiko Suave is retired? Like, his shit, he's never coming back out? I don't found a new alter ego, bro. I was meditating last night, and I was, like, trying to find my... I was trying to, like, awake my third eye and shit. So... I had this some meditation and nigga I ended up falling asleep in the middle of my meditation like I don't know it's weird but like I had like a dream and I got this alter ego and this nigga name is Seiko Hendrix bro this nigga got the third eye I don't know what's up with him but like it's like he Seiko Suave but he's like way smooth like he got hella swagger to him like he's just he's a fucking boss bro that nigga I'm telling you that nigga got like it's like he got superpowers or some shit like Bro, you about to see, you about to see, like, on God, I'm not gonna tell about him now, but just know, like, this nigga, this nigga is something serious, bro, like, shit, but look, bro, I'm gonna help your niggas out, so it's Bro Talks EP3, my nigga, so this episode, I'm gonna tell y'all niggas on how to, you know, keep your hoes, what to do if a girl not texting you back, all that shit, how to keep a girl texting you, I'm gonna get y'all niggas right, bro, so we're gonna start this shit off like this. You got a girl you fucking with, right? And you think you think everything cool and shit. You getting a little comfortable. All of a sudden, she not texting you back. You know, she acting funny. She taking all day to respond. Uh, like, she don't really, like, you know, fuck with you no more. So, this is what you do, bro. First, if, like, if y'all niggas dating, I'll say try to, like, you know, confront the problem. Like, be like, be like, yo, what's good with you? You know, try to figure out what's going on because nine times out of ten is probably communication. If y'all not dating... I'll still be like, yo, what's good with you? If she wanna talk, she'll talk. If she don't wanna talk, oh well. Fuck, you can't force you can't force a girl to you can't force someone to talk. But at least you trying, so that's all I can say. As long as you trying, bro. But like if it's like she's not budging with shit, like she don't wanna change her ways and it's like it's nothing you can do. Bro, find some I mean, this is why you never my mom always told me, I mean she don't tell me this now because you know she don't tell me that shit no more. But she always said, never put all your eggs in one basket. I taught my brother this shit. Never put all your eggs in one basket. Unless you're in, like, a serious ass relationship. If you in the, now, if you're dating, like, if you got a girlfriend, put all your eggs in that basket because, you know, you don't want to be a cheater and shit. That's corny, bro. You don't, there's no point in cheating on the girl. Or you could just break up with her and, you know, get some, if, like, if you want to cheat on somebody, break up with them. Don't, don't cheat while you're in a relationship. That's, that's some whole shit. But, like, never put your eggs in, all your eggs in one basket. If y'all is just talking and y'all not dating, always keep some hoes to the side. Now, I made a mistake, you know, cutting off my hoes from one girl. But some shits went left, so I don't give a fuck. But, look, if you ever cut all your hoes off, there's two things you can do. You can either go back to your old hoes. I don't suggest doing that. I like challenges, so I'll say find some new hoes. That's what I would do. That's what Seiko Hendrix did. He got some new hoes. So, you know, to get over that girl, bro, you got to find some other girls to talk to, you know. And most of the time, when I stop, like, I go ghost on a lot of girls. So, when I say that, I'm like, I mean, like, I'll talk to a girl, but I'll lose interest. There's two things. When I stop, like, you can ask, like, every girl I fuck with. I went ghost on, like, every girl I talked to. And, like, every girl that I ever made an encounter with, I went ghost on her. I just stopped talking to her completely. And when that shit happens, I'm gonna keep it being with you. It's either like it's three, it's only one time this shit happened. Like I was going through some shit, but like the only the other times, I'll either just lose interest or it's another girl that it's another girl or girls that got my attention and like they're starting, like they're in the roster for starting, my nigga. Like they're the starting lineup. So I'll be talking to some other girls, and it's like you know they're not they're like you know they're doing their thing. They like they're playing their role like the right way. So when that shit happens. If she, if a girl don't want to fuck with you, bro, that's why you always have a rotation. Like you always have a roster. So you're talking to other girls, and like honestly, there's nothing to even. If you're talking to other girls, you shouldn't even be pressed about one girl. If you get what I'm saying. Now, if you are talking to one girl and you're trying to get your hoes up, what I need you to do is I need you to find something that you're committed to. I need you to find like something that you don't mind grinding for, something that you don't mind getting your bag for, because when you do that. You'll, re you'll remain occupied and then that helps you even if you do got hoes always have something to do like if you're trying to grind your youtube channel grind your youtube channel you know make you a thumbnail edit a video uh put everything first 
Put your grind first before everything. Like, A Boogie said, he was like, if I ever said I love you, I was lying. I fuck with you, but you was always like a side bitch because I can never put nothing over grinding. That shit is real shit, bro. Put your, whatever you're grinding for, put that shit your first priority. Don't put no girls in front of that shit. Don't put nothing else in front of what you're grinding for. Now, I'm going to tell you why to do that shit. For some reason, girls like it when you put shit in front of them, bro. If you ever put a girl in front of your grind, she's not going to like, like, girls are so fucking weird. Like, they will say they want all your attention. And when you put their, when you put your, your grind to the side and put your attention on them, they'll stop fucking with you. I swear to God. Now, when you grinding for some shit, it's like, girls, like, the, I don't, girls are so fucking weird. But, like, they're really, it, I, I can't tell you. All I got to say is, have you something that you grinding for? If you're not even trying to get a YouTube channel, I'll say, you know. If you're trying to get a bigger bag, you're trying to make more money, you know, find another source of income. If you, uh, you know, if you're trying to lose weight, like, go to the gym, like, you know, like, you know, just shit to keep you occupied. Some, what, what this one guy said was your purpose. So you need to have a purpose, and that purpose has to be in front of everything. And this will help you when you're talking to hoes. Now, you got hella hoes, and you went to the mall. Remember the last video we talked about how you getting a short, a, a, a new bitch number? So now you got her number, you texting her and shit. First of all, don't text her back and forth all fucking day, bro. If she texts you, wait, wait some time. Like, wait like 30 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. Don't text her back two minutes later. If this a brand new girl, bro, because it's going to be like, like, that's all you have. Like, you don't have nothing available. Like, you're only available for her. Like, girls, they don't like that shit. They may say, oh, I want you to have, I want you to have time for me, but they don't like that shit, bro. They don't. They like it when you got some some shit you work. They don't like being, <laughs> they they think they say they like being put first, but they really don't. They like they like chasing after you. I'm gonna keep it hundred with you. They like chasing after you, bro. Trust me. So when you doing that shit, bro, this is why you wouldn't have your purpose. You wouldn't have your purpose because it's like you want to do whatever you can. So basically, when you texting the bitch, make her to where it's like your last priority. That's what I used to do all the time. But I had made, I, like I told you, I made some time for someone, and they ended up, you know, like. They didn't appreciate it. So what you want to do is you want to get back on your purpose, bro. And now you want to put everything after that. So what my order is, I got my purpose first. Then I got my meditation second. Then I got my gym third. And then I got making my money for it. Like, making money is easy. Like, that's my job. So with that, everything after that, the girls come last. Like, that's how it used to be. And, like, girls dead ass, they just, like, chasing. And that's... I really, when I get like that, bro, like, it's really, like, impossible. Like, I don't have, like, no interest to talk to bitches at all. And let me tell you why I'm like that. Because some of y'all niggas, y'all can be like, how are you like that? Bro, when you get hoes and when you get pussy and shit, it's like none of that shit really matters to you. Like, I can, I'm happy with life right now. Like, I don't need a girl in my life to, you know, be complete. Like, it'll be, it'll just add value to my, it'll just add value. It wouldn't complete me. You get what I'm saying? So, like, bitches, it was dead ass bitches that came over to my crib. And they was like, you know, they thought we was about to fuck. And I'm sitting here like, I'm not trying to fuck. Like, all that is like, it's because it's like, what else can you bring to the table besides pussy? Now, some of y'all, y'all may not be like that yet because y'all didn't get pussy. Like, y'all didn't have enough pussy. But when you get enough pussy, I want you to try that shit out. Be like to where when she come over, she think, like, she gonna give you some pussy. Turn it down and see what else, like, see what else she can contribute, bro. Like, see what else she can do besides bring pussy to the table. And then that shit will make her thirst for you. Ah, I'm not finna put y'all on like that yet. I was finna get y'all niggas right. But look, talk to the girl, right? Uh, what I say is, don't talk to her all day. I'd rather, this is what you do. You wanna text when you like, when you're busy. So, but like, when you're busy, don't text her like back fast as fuck. You'll rather FaceTime or talk on the phone with a girl, but don't talk to her all fucking day. I like talking to bitches at nighttime. Cause you know, I don't know, bro. Like when it hit like 12 o'clock, a nigga be horny and shit. So you could be like, you know, she may be acting different, like, you know, after dark and shit. So you want to talk to the bitch late at night, but you want to text her like throughout the day, but not all day. Kind of like hit her up, like reply to her like every hour or some shit. Put your purpose first. Make sure you're working on your purpose all day. And then text her when you got a little bit of free time, when you got a little break from your purpose. If you get what I'm saying. So when you're doing that, your ultimate goal is to where your ultimate goal is to, um, you want to get her to come to you in person. You want to be with the bitch in person, bro. That's where all your magic comes, okay? <clears throat> your personality, your swagger, the way you look at her, all that shit comes into play because that's what, sedu that's what seduces the girl. 
See, like, I don't like texting. I don't like talking to bitches on my phone all day because I'd rather build you in person. Because one, I'll give you more attention. And like my purpose, like you'll you'll be right there next to me, and you know I can get you know I can get in my fucking bag, you know what I'm saying? Like I can get like touchy and shit. And that's why I like being in person with bitches. I I hate talking on the phone all day. I hate texting all day. But like if I have to, I will. I will make a way for you. But I'm not doing that shit no more because I have a purpose. I had put my I had to put my purpose back in like in the lineup. So now, now you're you know, I don't told you what to do, bro. Like. If she start acting funny, stop fucking with her. Like, just cut her off. She gonna she gonna be like, why this nigga not text me no more? Like, what, what's good with him? She's gonna try to start getting back with you now. When she try to hit you up, you know. If you want to, talk to her. If you don't want to talk to her, just stop fucking with her. If you want to play with her, play with her. It's all how it's all how you feeling. Like, what I say is that's why you have a whole bunch of hoes on your like on your lineup because you can just test around. Like, that's what I used to do, bro. I used to have so many hoes, like, I'll just play around, like, it was like, I'll just be testing shit on them. Like, I'll be like, I don't know, like, some bitches, I'll cut them off and then they'll hit me back up. And then I'll never talk to them. Some, they'll hit me up and I'll act like, you know, I'm really, like, trying to fuck with them. Whole time, I'm not really trying to do shit. Like, it's just all on, like, it's honestly what I got time for. So, if I'm bored, I'll probably, you know, fuck with you. But if I'm not bored, like, if I'm busy, yeah, you're never gonna hear from me. Just like that, bro. But, uh... Like I said, make sure you got that one girl that you fuck with. Like, keep that best friend in your corner, though. Because, you know, she's going to be the one you always talk to. She's not the you. She's the one that you text back fast as hell. She's the one that you can talk to. But, like, them hoes, nah, don't, don't fuck with them. Them hoes, they don't get your uh, undivided attention, bro. Them hoes don't get your undivided attention. But, uh... I think that's pretty it. Oh, here's another thing for y'all. I didn't I didn't say this in the last video, but make sure y'all go to parties, bruh. Parties is an easy way for y'all to like connect with girls and like if you ain't get no pussy yet, like no pussy yet or some shit, get get you a bitch to twerk on your dick, bruh. Get a bitch to twerk on you. Dead ass. Learn and make sure when a bitch twerking on you, don't just sit still, bruh. Like move in rhythm with them. So like if they playing like a fast ass song, don't all you gotta do is hold her hips, but like you know, move with her. Like don't just sit there and let her do the work. Move with it, like you know, grind on it a little bit. Like she gonna go crazy for that shit. But uh that's it for this video. Make sure y'all stay tuned next week. I'ma help y'all niggas lose our virginity, all that other shit. Gang.